place. On the last day of the world, I would want to plant a tree. What for? Not the fruit. The tree that bears the fruit is not the one that was planted. I want the tree that stands in the earth for the first time, with the sun already going down and the water touching its roots in the earth full of the dead and the clouds passing one by one over its leaves. William's true life that he truly loves is writing poetry in the morning, and that involves reading and thinking and drinking tea and looking out at the palms. And then in the afternoon, potting and planting, planting trees. Hi. My name is Stefan Schaefer, and for the past year and a half, I've been working on a film about the poet and environmental activist W.S. Merwin. Now, Merwin would be a worthy subject for a film based on his writing alone. He's won almost any prize you can win as a poet, including two Pulitzers, and he was honored as our U.S. Poet Laureate in 2010 and 11. But it isn't only his poetry that define him and make him such a compelling subject for a film. It's also the singular form of environmental activism and land stewardship that he embodies on a daily basis, and the bold choices he's made throughout his long career as an artist. Here's another short scene from footage we shot in France, which illustrates how the film looks at the full scope of Merwin's life and the themes that have been so important to him. In the beginning, there was something secret about this part of the world. If you talk to French people in the early 60s, nobody came here. Nobody got off the, the, the train down. It was always on the way to Toulouse or somewhere else. And it was the connection with an old, of an older culture that uh, I, I guess I hungered for. I mean, uh, I really wanted to find that link coming all the way through. And I think this is not uncommon among American writers at all, I think. I mean, you, you look through Moby Dick and you look through Faulkner, certainly. Uh, again and again, you find uh, them trying to make that link again. It sounds very remote from growing up near New York, and in a way it was. And sometimes I would say to myself, how serious are you about this? And I thought, very serious. I, I want to know this thing about these links, you know, that, that we've lost, that we've paid no attention to, and how people live that close to the seasons and to the weather and to the living things all around them. Knowing the place, you know, that's what I felt here. So where are we now in the process? Over the past 15 months, we've shot over 100 hours of footage here in Hawaii during a trip with the Merwins to Europe, uh, during a reading tour on the mainland. And all of that has been made possible by the donation of over 200 individuals, as well as grants from two foundations. So now we're in the home stretch, and what we need to do to finish is raise an additional $25,000. And that money will cover shooting three more interviews with, among others, Harold Bloom at Yale, eight weeks of editing, color correcting and sound mixing, original music scoring, licensing of archival footage, and prepping for festival submission. Here's another short scene you might enjoy with William talking about the importance of imagination. Really the thing that makes this so remarkable as a species is not our technology and not how smart we are, not any of those things. I think it's the imagination. We don't know where it comes from, but it's the ability to care about the whales in the Pacific that are dying from pollution and from malnutrition, and the homeless people on the street, and the people starving to death and mistreated in Darfur and Africa. What are they to do with us? Everything or nothing. And uh, 
It's the imagination that says they're everything to do with us. If it happens to them, it happens to us too. That's, I think that's it. And I think it's, that's the source of the arts and it's the source of the real value in, in humanity. That's why it matters whether we survive or not. So with your support, we expect to finish the film by midsummer, ready to submit to film festivals and to the many distributors that have seen some of the footage and are very interested in our film. Now we're lucky enough to have partnered with a nonprofit Media Collective, so that any donation you're able to give is fully tax deductible. And if you look to the right of your screen, you'll see a variety of levels and ways that you can support the film. Thanks for taking the time to consider this, and thanks for spreading the word to your friends and family, colleagues, about this amazing man and this very important film. And here's one last clip, which includes William reading the poem that gives the film its title. Rainlight. All day the stars watch from long ago. My mother said, I'm going now. When you are alone, you will be all right. Whether or not you know, you will know. Look at the old house in the dawn rain. All the flowers are forms of water. The sun reminds them through a white cloud touches the patchwork spread on the hill, the washed colors of the afterlife that lived there long before you were born. See how they wake without a question, even though the whole world is burning.